What's in the box? I just got this at my door. Let's see what it is. Okay, so it is the, hmm, how do you say that? Nequair vacuum cleaner. A17 series with high power motor. So my current vacuum cleaner sucks, literally. It pushes the dirt around. And I'm seriously tired of dirt, but I'm not gonna use a vacuum that doesn't work. So I went on Amazon and looked around and I saw this one and it seemed like pretty, it seemed like it had a lot of uh, good qualities, had a lot of great reviews, almost five stars. And it looked like exactly what I was looking for, which is still one that's plugged in and has the option to do stairs. So you take off that little do par hickey part and do the stairs. So I'm gonna open it up and see what I need to do to put it together and get it working. And then I will show you. Okay, so I've opened it up. This is the operating manual, which is this long and only one side. It's got all the little gadgets that I'm supposed to have in the box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. It says wash filters with cold water at least once every month. Ensure the filters are completely dry before refitting. Well, yeah. And this is uh, how you put it together. Not so much the top, I don't know, but the bottom here, this thing goes into either the main part or the brush or that thing or that thing. The crevice tool. Um, emptying the clear bin. You obviously have, first you have dirt. It's maximum full. Then you open the door down here, empty it, and then it's emptied, and then what? You leave it open. Pretty sure you should close it back up. And yeah, it's just say, direct drive charger, cleaner head, cleaning obstruct obstructions. There's a lock and an unlock. You, oh, for the little roller. You got some hair in there, you cut it out. Then you lock it. If you have, I have no idea. What's that supposed to be? What's that supposed to be, spaghetti? String? Bunch of crap in there? That. You take out this, you wash that, sun, let it dry. Put it in the sun for 24 hours, let it dry. Okay. And then you, um, yeah, it'll make more sense once I see it out, completely out. Stubborn blockages. Mm, okay. And then, important. Again, wash filters with cold water at least once every month. Ensure the filters are completely dry before refitting. They really want you to know that. How many filters are there? One, two, three. I don't know what the little don't symbol is. So we have this tool, the crevice tool. We have this, obviously the bar from the floor part to the handheld part. We have oh, a piece of foam that's 
horrible for the environment. Thank you. I love it when people send send me packaging with foam. Oh, we've got the fancy schmancy roller bar. It's squishy. Red and blue. We have the boingy boingy hose. We have oh, one filter. It's like a Keurig. We have this thing, which is the um, thing that goes on the wall so that you can put it in place when you're not using it. Oh, we have a handy dandy brush. We have this part. Oh, we have a, another brush of sorts. And we have oh, more styrofoam. Wait, they zip log that goes through the handheld contraption. And we have oh, the floor. Heart. Okay, and more paperwork in there. So let me open up all these pieces and I will be back. Okay, so I'm back. I've taken everything out of the plastic. So I've got the crevice stool, the little brush filter, that little roller attachment, the pole, the docking thing, the floor part, this brush and this little stretchy hose and then I put the two parts together so the handheld and the little uh let's call it a garbage can <laughs> that's where the dirt goes so it was pretty easy to put together now I have to put together put the hose in and then put the hose or the pole to the floor part and um go from there. So, bear with me. So, I was looking to see where the filter went, but then I found out that it went into this compartment. So I took this off, and there's actually already one filter. So they've sent me an addition of filter, additional filter, which is a huge bonus. So, I'll put this back on here, and simply, like it's pretty easy, you just click it, slide it, it's locked. And then you put your, this handheld piece on, like that, and you put that in there, and then you click, and it's totally done. And also, the cord's all wrapped up, and it didn't have one of those stupid plastic twist ties, which I really don't like. It's got these cool fab fabric-y Velcro things now. I'm seeing a lot more lately, which is way more beneficial and way better for the environment. So I'm gonna give this bad boy a try. I'm gonna clean up, let's see. I'm gonna clean up this little, I don't know, whole house. And see what happens. The real test will be, will my dog bark? But that will be for another episode. Okay. Give this a whirl. So my dog is crazy barking. Oh, it's all blurry. Okay, let's do this again. So I'm gonna start it up. Dog's gonna go nuts. And we're gonna see how well this thing goes or how long the dog barks for. So it's so simple and I got extended it so it's perfect length. Wow, it's 
Lucky not the dirt. Thing's awesome. You really suck. I like it. Dog, though. Well, I'm seriously already happy. <laughs> this is gonna make life so much easier. You know, I got a little light down there. Yeah, see. But the only thing is. And it said it was supposed to be noiseless. Pretty sure I can hear noise. However, on that note, I guess that's a wrap. I'm going to keep vacuuming my house. Driving the dog crazy. Talk to for now.